Hi, hi, welcome back to my channel, and this is a review with swatches of the Elf Beak Eyeshadows. And if you like to hear my take experience, the usual as I say, you please keep on watching. These big eyeshadows can be purchased from eyeslipface.com or there are lots of distributors that are all over the world that actually sell e.l.f. products so definitely check your distributor to see if they have these in stock if you are interested in trying them out or you can go to e.l.f.'s page because these items are generally on sale and it's from the studio line and you know the studio line definitely has those 50% off sale or I've known that these are part of their best sellers so they um, sometimes do go on 50% off. So definitely check ELF if you are interested in purchasing these products. On ELF's website, these things go for, these things, these eyeshadows, they go for 3 US dollars and I guess the equivalent is pretty much how much you would get them um, available. This is what the packaging looks like. It's from the studio line so it has the studio packaging and it's what I love is that you can actually get to see the products. I know that um, Walmart and Target in the US do sell these products and these are also part of the items that are being sold there so that you can check out your local Walmart or Target for these and because of them being in store it's so easy for you to like see what color product you're gonna get through the packaging I thought that was really really nice you get um, 3.5 grams of product which is a really pretty good size for an eyeshadow generally big eyeshadows um, to last long in the sense that they're so compact and finely milled that and they apply and they last long and the ISO reapplication and all those kind of things are not necessary so that big eyeshadows for a lot of people are generally a bang for your buck they that's their a lot of people's preference just because of the wear and the amount of product you get I just want to read the claims that elf has on the product and talk a little more about the product packaging and all that with you guys now all right so outside it coming in this packaging it also comes in this little shell I call it like a little shell it's clear and the product fits very nice into it and then it's in this box I think that's really good because it keeps this product sturdy in the box it does not move around a lot and does not hit the edge of the box so that if it hits another product you chances are it's not going to shatter that quickly however if it does hit forward um, you can shatter it and I've actually seen people who when they got their product it was out of the pan so it remained intact but the dome actually would fall out and you can see the um, pan itself so that is the only if you think with this in that you can see it but it also has this cons that if you um, happen to drop it it can come out and um, not necessarily shatter but come off from the pan itself so the elf website has nine colors available and I have my phone here with me to tell you the colors there is bark which I don't have and burnt plum I actually had those colors but a friend took those those were I think we initially the, um, the part of, I had three initially and those were two of the initial ones then there was um, enchanted which I do have so this is what enchanted looks like I'll give you a close up look at them then the next one is pixie I do have pixie here also then there's toasted which is this color then there is Moonlight Serenade, which is a white color. Bark is actually like a really dark um, brown, um, but not too, too dark. And then Burnt Plum, of course, is that plum color. And Bronze Beauty, which is this one here. And then there is Passion Purple, which I really want to get. And then Chocolate Dreams, which is this one. I do want to get a couple others like the bark and the plum again but I'm telling myself really and truly I don't need any more and I need to finish up some other items so even though I may want to get them I really wouldn't just because well I need to use up stuff so that gives you an idea as to where I'm going with this review and what I really do think about this product so this is the initial packaging of the product after you trash your box and I think it's quite bulky it's quite bulky and it's I don't know if you can depart this I think it's gonna be almost impossible to depart but if you can depart this and put this into like say a Z palette I am hoping that the dome is not too high so that's like how much product you get 
and I do think it's a, it appears to be a lot and I've had three of them that I was using quite often which would have been Toasted, Pixie and Enchanted and I've used them Pixie and Enchanted as highlighters and they still go this color in particular Toasted is really nice all over color so I've used it quite a bit let's compare that to one of the new ones that I purchased ah Can you see the difference? No, not really, right? And I've used both of them. Um, this one just toasted quite a bit. I just find the packaging is bulky. That's one of the downfalls with it. But if you're accustomed to working with big products, you would know that they are always rise and the packaging is definitely quite bulky because it has to take into consideration that it's like a dome shaped product and um I don't think Elf could have run from this with it. Even the um, big eyeshadow palettes, it's bigger and bulkier than the regular eyeshadow palettes. And that's again because it is, um, like I said, a big product. However, I like that you get to see what the colors do, um, how, sorry, how the colors look through the packaging. And I generally just store them like this in my collection and they work okay like that. So this um, eyeshadow claims, and I'm reading from the back here, that it is a silky and blendable formula, provides smooth and even application. I would say that is true, nothing about it actually is splotchy, even when I test it and I swatch it, it's smooth. can guarantee you on that, and I will just show you guys. Actually, let me just show you guys one time. Let's go with a uh, dark color, so you can see this is Chocolate Dreams. The dots are there, and swatched. You can see it actually is blend um, smooth and applies very silky, no like patchiness at all. Infused with key ingredients such as jojoba, rose, sunflower, apricots, and grape to nourish and hydrate the skin. I don't really know that. I've not really seen anything like hydrate into the skin, but I know that it does not dry up. Like even when I use the lighter colors as highlighters, it does not dry up um, or crack up or anything on my face. They all have me with like itchy eyes or scratching my eyes, that kind of thing. Long lasting. Definitely, when you apply these, you don't need to touch up through the day. It works really amazing. And I have worn these for like, you know me, I have long 14, 15 hour days. And I've actually worn them for that. And they've lasted all. Um, a shimmery color. So it's long lasting shimmery color. can be worn wet or dry. I'll show you wet application. And also dry application. The long lasting, um, sorry, directions. Apply dry all over eyelid with a brush for a subtle wash. Of color or apply wet for a vibrant color and all of mine in this look I have I did actually apply um, dry so I will do swatches for you guys with it dry and also with it wet with a brush also all right so I am going to first swatch with my fingers um, all five colors and then I'm going to swatch with this brush it's the elf contour brush and this is going to be dry and then I will swatch again wet and with both fingers and um, with the brush and you'll get to see the color peel all right so these are the colors swatch the top swatch was done with my fingers and the bottom swatches were done with the brush so you guys can get an average idea how it applies now it's important for you to note that um i do have one base and primer and there is none on my eyelid and there's none whatsoever on my hand in using so that's it dry hand swatches of course are better and some people have said that they love to apply that um the product to their lids with their fingers all right so these are the shadows swatched wet so the first one is enchanted pixie toasted um, bronze beauty and chocolate dreams so these were done with the brush the elf contour brush and i use my elf mist and set to wet it and then these three I just swatched them with my fingers this is toasted chocolate dreams and bronze beauty so that is them swatch wet you can see how opaque they're very metallic looking and shimmery and I will post pictures on my Facebook page and on my blog for you guys to see Alright, so now to the review of these products. The, I think they are amazing. They are very pigmented. 
the lighter colors which will be enchanted and pixie that I own I've used as highlighters on my face and they work really amazing um, they are a bit shimmery so you want to be careful with them when applied wet they are very metallic and they last so if you like metallic shadows then they work amazing um, this chocolate dreams is really a gorgeous 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 color um, will make an awesome smoky eye definitely want to try it as a smoky eye and see how well it works I would definitely recommend these they last amazing on your lid whether it's wet or dry when it's wet it's like amazing stay in power they blend extremely well they're very smooth all right so they are very inexpensive and you get a lot of products and these will last you for quite a while my favorite really and truly out of them would be toasted i love toasted that's because it can work as an all over lid color it can blend it out in a crease and you can go it could be a one shadow eye look kind of thing i love that i like pixie and enchanted but i really don't need both they both appear to be um work as highlighters for me on for brow bone and for face so that i can use I can use either so I wouldn't suggest both this one um, enchanted is more kind of peachy color whereas pixie is more pinky tone so depending on what you like you can go with either one and chocolate dream is definitely a dream it's definitely a color I would recommend if you want a dupe to like um, Urban Decay is I think it's half baked then or baked this is like amazing um, bronze color it applies amazing as you would have seen before and it is smooth you get a lot of products so if you like those kind of colors then this is an awesome um, color to get along with chocolate dreams toasted I recommend this as an all over lit color I really really like this this is my most used color out of all of them and I would recommend these I would definitely give it a 4.5 out of 5. I just wish the collection had more colors. And um, even if it did, I guess I would not be able to purchase since I own so many eyeshadows. But I like them. Definitely recommend you to get them. If you are skeptical about big eyeshadows, which I generally am, or I was, because recently I've been buying some big eyeshadows and enjoying them immensely, then these are definitely awesome for you to try out. Um, you can get with three colors you can definitely get an eye look I would say toasted chocolate dreams and one of the two highlighters that I own you can use and get one entire look and you're good to go kind of thing so these are really 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 nice to get so I hope this review was helpful and the swatches were helpful and thanks so much for watching until my next video bye